everyone. I'm Takia Smith in for Donna Bush with your CIG television news brief on this Tuesday evening. Residents living in the Cayman Islands can now access maps showing over 300 public shoreline access points. The Ministry of District Administration and Lands has announced the Shoreline Interactive Map, which is an innovative online navigation tool accessible at gov.ky forward slash shoreline. It provides users with a dynamic platform to locate public pedestrian pathways to the shoreline and public beaches across all three Cayman Islands. Some residents who have had the opportunity to use a new tool had this to say. The function that I find most useful with the shoreline access map is, you know, I've got two very young kids. I want to know what beach access there is available to us. Um, don't necessarily want to drive all the way down to um, public beach in, on West Bay Road. Um, and sometimes you don't know which beaches are close to you and I want to see which ones have facilities, I want to see which ones have bathrooms, um, have cabanas, obviously that's really important. Um, so for me with two young children, I would say those features are really important. Quick access, information. That's what everybody complains about these days. They don't have information. With the map, it helps because I get to see exactly what's going on almost in real time. I get to see all the locations that I had no idea about and get to plan accordingly. I think that's very important. Premier Minister of Lands, the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly, shared her sentiments on the launch of the Shoreline IMAP, saying whether you are a resident or a visitor, the Shoreline Map offers an experience for understanding and accessing by leveraging technology, all while preserving and promoting our deep-rooted maritime culture. The Public Lands Inspectorate is the department with responsibility for public lands. The inspectorate, under the oversight of the Ministry of District Administration and Lands, is dedicated to enforcing the laws outlined in the Public Lands Act and the Public Lands Regulations. Their main role involves overseeing how public lands are actually used. Wilbur Welcome, Acting Chief Officer for the Ministry of District Administration and Lands, shared the aim behind the shoreline IMAP. Recognizing the pressing concerns voiced by our stakeholders, notably the lack of accessible shoreline information and navigational difficulties in specific areas, we embarked on delivering swift yet cost-effective solutions. Our aim was not only to address these pain points, but also to gather actionable insights from our users, ensuring a remarkable end product. The Shoreline IMAP fulfills these objectives, mm -hmm. and we eagerly invite public engagement as we evolve towards a standalone smartphone application boasting enhanced functionality. To report blocked shoreline access points, contact the Public Lands Inspectorate by email at plzinspectorate at gov.ky or by calling 946-7110. Cayman Art Week returns tomorrow, May 22nd through the 26th for its third year. Cayman Art Week is a week-long curated program of gallery tours and open studios held annually and designed to celebrate and encourage the collection of art in the Cayman Islands. Offering access to almost 50 art venues, it provides a single platform to showcase a range of discussions, pop-up interventions, and exhibitions to local and international audiences. For the full schedule of events, visit the official website, caymanartweek.com. Fifty recruits have officially joined the Cayman Islands Cadet Corps. The 2024 passing out ceremony took place this past Sunday, 19th May, at the Truman Bodden Sports Complex. The Cayman Islands Cadet Corps, now in its 22nd year of operation in the Cayman Islands, provides practical life skills training to the young people of Cayman. Its strategic goals include providing career pathways to the uniform and public safety services of the Cayman Islands as many cadets move on to serve in those essential arms of the Cayman Islands government. Let's have a look at your forecast on this Tuesday. A deep layered upper level trough centered over the Western Caribbean, accompanied with light easterly winds, will increase the chance of showers over the Cayman area for the next 24 hours. Satellite images show few low-level and scattered upper-level clouds over the Cayman area. Tonight, we will have partly cloudy skies with a 40% chance of early morning showers and possible thunder, especially for the sister islands. Temperatures will fall to the upper 70s Fahrenheit. Winds will be east at five to 10 knots and seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of two to four feet.
A reminder that you can check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Service's website and Facebook page for a look at all of your local weather conditions. Finally, if you're watching us on our YouTube channel, we ask you to take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for all of your key and factual government news. I'm Takiya Smith in for Donna Bush, wishing every one of you a great night.